All right, hey, what's up, guys? In this video, you guys can download my free serum bank. So I've had this bank available for uh, quite a while, but I just recently updated it. Uh, so it's called Initial, it's for serum. Inside, there is 27 free serum presets. Uh, this is what the artwork looks like. And uh, there's also some instructions that you guys can read. Okay, so in order to install this inside of FL Studio, it's really, really easy whether you're on Windows or Mac. All you have to do is just go to Menu. And again, this is for Windows or Mac. Just go Show Serum Presets Folder. You're going to go to Presets. And then what I recommend is creating a vendor name. So if you purchase sounds from other vendors as well, um, I recommend just creating one gratuitous. And then you would just drag Initial in there. Okay, so these are just some other uh, paid banks I have. But initial is free, and that's what you guys will get if you sign up at itsgratuitous.com forward slash serum, okay? All right, so with that installed, this is what the bank looks like, okay? So initial, and you get all these sounds. So BA is for bass, LD is for lead, PD is for pad, PL is for plucked, SY is for synth, okay? This is a common naming convention, and I really, really like that kind of layout. All right. So here's some bass sounds. All right, so this stuff usually works a little bit better with, uh, you know, when you have a drum loop. Let's just make a quick little drum loop and uh, then we'll play some of these presets over top of it. Uh, this is a drum kit that has, um, it's in the works. It's not yet finished. Xavier's actually um, working on it. So Xavier um, is from Exclusive Audio. So if you guys ever see me make beats in, the, in my courses and stuff, um, I use the drum bundle trio a lot, right? So Xavier made this, and this is just like a draft kit that we're working on right now. Okay, that's a cool drum. And we'll just get a snare. Uh, there's not any hi-hats or anything yet. It's kind of cool. Maybe that too. Okay, so I hit left on my um, on my keyboard. It brings me, or sorry, uh, I'm in the channel rack right now. Okay, so everything's good. We're gonna come back here to the browser. So I'm gonna get it focused. And if you hit left on your arrow key, and then so it brought me right up to the top folder. You hit left again, it closes it. And so now I can quickly maybe go to like a clap. Okay, so you can hit down on your arrow keys, and if you hit right. You get to hear the sound over and over right so if you're picking out your sounds for your drum loop that's usually what i find really helps me a lot all right so when i make my drum loops i usually like it to um i like to have different styles of drums you know some that hit a little bit lower some that hit a little bit higher and it just allows uh, a drum loop just to it's a lot easier to make a drum loop so like I always say when it comes to my safe spots curriculum, all right, I wrote a book, it's called Safe Spots, it's all about drum loops. I say putting your kick drum on the one and your clap, so let's find a clap or a snare on the two and the four, okay? So right now, if I were to play this, this is quite fast, right? This is a dance track, so let's slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna increase a little bit of swing, it's just gonna give our drum loop a little bit more life once we get into it. All right, so really simple. Okay. Okay, I'll turn this uh, drum down a little bit. Okay, so now I can just kind of um, layer up this snare just a little bit. Okay, I'll just get this one more. So we'll just layer this up a little bit. I'll delete these ones. So I'm gonna hold on Alt and Delete, okay? Uh, you could say don't show this in the future. I usually don't select that. Like I actually want to decide that, yeah, I wanna delete that because um, when you delete these, I think if you undo, like you can't get them back. So um, I do this so that I don't make a mistake. 
All right. So I want to head to some hi hats though for some, um, you know, hi hats are huge in, in your tracks, right? Even though it's such a little a small sound, hi hats are so powerful. Okay. So let's just add in some hats here. Turn these down just a little bit. Get a little, a little bit of velocity. Actually, this here's a cool, here's a cool little shortcut. You can actually just click up here, or sorry, uh, this one. You can adjust your velocity really, really quick. So it does the same thing in like uh, the piano roll. You can see it adjusted that. And maybe turn this down just a little bit. A little lower. Okay, so a little drum loop right now. Maybe get some more percussion. Okay, so we got two shakers. Those sound exactly the same. I'm gonna go a little bit different. All right, so I'm just gonna click in this shaker. We'll do something like this, something simple. It sounds kind of a little, like, really fast here. That kind of sounds weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit hold, um, use the trim, hit normalize, and we'll use the in here. And so this is going to put the sound to the front. Okay, we'll use the out a little bit here as well. And so we're going to go back on the in, and we're going to use um, the sample start. Okay. Okay, let's turn on the hats just a little bit. Okay, let's get one more drum. Um, again, this is from the Drum Bundle Trio. Something that hits low. All right, so something like this. Okay, we'll try and hit this around a little bit. We'll layer it up and maybe. So again, we hit the reverse player. Okay, it's okay. We'll increase the swing here a little bit, all right? Okay, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to use a little bit of velocity on there. All right. So remember, with safe spots, these are the organic tools that I'm using to really make my drum loop be almost exactly as I like. We haven't even touched the mixing, right? So again, this is my FL Studio template. Uh, for those of you who watch the courses, you guys see me use this all the time, right? So I haven't even touched any effects at all. Um, it's just basic kind of MIDI stuff that we have, such as like velocity, layering. Um, we could get into panning, but like, so panning's like left to right, right? Um, but just keep it simple right now. Everything's sounding fine. Let me turn it down one. Go a little bit more aggressive on the swing. Turn on this drum a little bit. Okay, we're just going to hop into some more melodies. So it's too low. So it's a little loud. We'll pull it back a little bit. Okay, we'll hit uh, play on the drums. And I'll just hit some chords and see if I can make anything happen. A little too loud still. Okay, so again, this is the free bank uh, that, again, you can go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash serum, and this is initial, right? Um, so inside initial, there's just all these different sounds. Um, we'll go through some of them. Again, you can download them and, and check them all out, okay? So this one's called tap away, 
or sorry, I think it's the next sound. Um, yeah, twiddle the highs, okay? So you'll notice that I have mono enabled here, so you will not be able to play chords. Whereas like this preset, lower. Right, pretty powerful preset. So a lot of times that one hand on like the low, that this is a little too low. This is kind of a sweet spot, right? Like it just sounds good on the low end, and it also yeah. So just I would like maybe start my my uh, melody from here. Let's say. Maybe we'll just record just a quick little melody, and. Uh, just bring this over. So what I'm going to do, hit F2. I write in capitals in FL Studio. So drum loop, F2 again. Control right click. Makes everything nice and big. Hit the plus on the number pad. Again, this is my workflow. So if you guys, if this is all, if this is all new to you and you're like, I'm going so fast, but so these are the, knowing the short, uh, the keyboard shortcuts, they're going to save you tons. So again, you can just check out my FL Studio courses at itsgratuitous.com. Okay. All right. So I have the drum loop in the playlist and uh, now we're on pattern two. We only have one pattern. It's this drum loop that we just created. Okay. If I click on it, this one, if I hit play here, uh, it's going to play in the playlist. Let's just hit record, hit play. I'll play something kind of close. We'll just leave it like that. And so what I would do here is we're just going to remove these two. Now, when you hit play, it's just going to keep looping over and over. It's going to allow us to edit our notes super easy. Okay. Now, the first thing I like to do is I like to quantize. Okay. So I'm going to press shift and Q. It quantizes the, uh, the beginning of the notes. It leaves the tails, which allows you to get more natural editing. Uh, and we'll just hit play here and hoping that it's going to kind of flow. Going to be maybe a little bit of tweaking, but uh, looks like it snapped to grid pretty good. Now we can just kind of maybe go through some presets. Um, higher. Turn it up a little bit. It's quiet. You want to compress it a little bit more. See, we're getting no compressions happening at all. So, um, we will put the threshold down. So, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, so minus, right? So, this means no compression. We're gonna bring it like maybe here, higher ratio. And see, it's on and it's on. So, we should be seeing some compression soon. Go to lower. There we go. Okay, we'll bump the attack a little bit without compression. It's just kind of missing that body, right? Yeah, like way fuller. So I'll turn up just a little bit. Okay, so maybe we'll just go a little bit lower on that compression. Back it up a little bit. And, and just uh, have a little bit um, longer attack. A um, little bit maybe longer release. So without it. Turn up a little bit more. And again, I'm just going to pull back on the release a little bit. Give it more life back. That's better. Okay, so there you guys go, right? Um, so if you guys want to get my free serum bank, again, you guys could just go to itsgratuitous.com forward slash serum. 
Uh, if you guys are new to uh, you know who I am, so my artist and producer name is Gratuitous. I'm an FL Studio trainer, so I, I create a lot of FL Studio courses to get you guys learning FL Studio nice and fast. I also release a lot of my own music. It's on Spotify. So if you'd like to check out my newest beat tape, it's my Beat Tapes by Gratuitous Volume 9. So it's itsgratuitous.com. Okay, take care.